Well, here it is. It just came in the mail. My Thoman. Is it pronounced Thoman? I think. Wrong. It's Toman. My banjo. It just arrived. Like, took four days from Germany all the way to Las Vegas. Let's open it up. It's like Christmas. How? Four days? Well, I guess that's... So we're going to unbox it. Let's unbox it. Harley Benton is the house brand of Toman, which is the largest music retailer of instruments and equipment in all of Europe. My banjo shipped all the way from Germany to Las Vegas in like four days. Incredible. I will put a link to their website somewhere in this video. Just like a soap opera, just like a present on a soap opera. Oh boy. Wrapped up. Got some nice, nice packing. I probably will use this. Oh, and there's looks like there's some Allen wrenches and uh, that's nice. This will be its temporary case till I buy a case. Speaking of cases, I could have got the bundle, which came with the gear bag for an extra 14 bucks, but I didn't see that. So I just got the 55, and the shipping was, yes, $30. Only $30 to ship it. Uh, they also have a banjo for 122, but I like the look of the 55, so that's what I went with. Brand new, no one's ever played this. I'm the first owner. That's a pretty banjo. Oh, wow. Wow. Quality controlled. Go get them, Tiger. That was quality controlled. There's a sticker on the back that says compliant with ROHS directive. I had to look it up. Just means uh, it's environmentally safe. Good shape, perfect, no damage. Okay, nothing wrong with it, no damage. Let's tune it up. Pretty excited. All right, Harley Benton, your style, your gear since 1998. The body is made of mahogany and the color is called uh, Dark Cherry Sunburst. Oh, there's a nice little plastic piece there that protects the string from the neck. I like that. Some very fancy scroll work there on the neck and the, uh, it's got some nice etching here on the armrest. Basic tail piece that holds the bottom of the strings. Remo head, that's a good brand. These are called shoes that they are drilled right into the side of the pot or the rim. Very nice details. There's also this pretty black matte trim around the resonator that's very attractive. I went out and bought a drum dial. It's very heavy. I had no idea. Uh, I calibrated it on a piece of glass and it's right set at zero. So this is to test the tightness of the head. And I went around all four sides and it's pretty even. I only know from watching YouTube videos, but you want it between like 87 and 92. It's pre personal preference. I This was fun though. It's fun to know that the head, the head is good. Now we're tuning it using the old pitch pipe, which works fine, well, but I thought it would be more fun to tech it up and go buy a electronic tuner. You clip it to the neck guitar, bass, violin, and ukulele tuner. I hope it works for banjo. It's chromatic. Yes, it does. Look at that, you can move it around. The D string, it's already out of tune. It goes out of tune immediately. Do I tighten this nut? No. These screws are just meant to hold on this button. 
If I tighten the screw, I mean, how loose So they is could it? have been loose because of shipping. So I just went around. It's hard to do it holding the phone or holding my camera with one hand. But I just went around and tightened all the screws on the tuning pegs. So here's a credit card to see. I can probably fit two credit cards up here. And down the neck, it's very tight towards the top Completely. of the... Doesn't move. Doesn't move, so... Your banjo may be completely fine, but this particular one is going to have to be adjusted. And I'm a very curious person, so I wanted to take off the resonator just to see what's under the hood. Um, it was kind of hard to take it off. I think the paint got stuck, but I finally managed to get it off. And you can see inside, it's um, it's a little dusty, but that doesn't that matter because you have banjo. a white These head on it. These little screws were kind of loose. You might have to adjust them to fit. You just want to make uh, sure that they don't rattle. Anyway, so that's the inside. But get to know your banjo. Don't be afraid of your banjo. Take it apart. I had a banjo for over 30 years, and I didn't even know you could take it apart. So let's look on the inside. It's got 24-tone brackets uh, and lugs, also known as J-hooks. One coordinator rod, which I believe adjusts the neck to lower that action. That will have to be done on this banjo. Yes, you just mentioned that. Now, no instrument is going to come right out of the box ready to play. It's going to need to be set up. So either take it to a banjo person that you trust or do it yourself. I have learned more on YouTube in the past three months about banjos than I've ever learned my entire life. So YouTube is great. But let's get back to my unboxing and wrap this baby up. I went around and tightened these. See, here's where the paint was sticking. Right there. Um, maybe these were all kind of loose for a reason. Getting the screws to match um, the holes evenly took a little finessing, but I got it. You may want to tighten the head in a few places. Some people do it by touch or sound. I don't know how to do that. But there's a hundred YouTube videos that'll teach you. So real quick, can't have a, I can't really review a product without hearing it. I've had it for a couple weeks now. I do have my little electronic tuner here. It does seem to go out of tune a little bit easy. Maybe the pegs are not, maybe I don't have them right. Sorry for my messy uh, back backdrop, but I'm taking this banjo tomorrow to LA to load it to a friend, so I have to just hurry up and uh, just play something so you can at least hear it, because I will not have this banjo anymore after tomorrow. I'm loaning it to a friend. Hi, Bonnie. strings. I like I feel like I'm gonna my fingers are gonna bleed. The um there's my just two quick notes. Also if you're a beginner you're way more likely to stick with it if it doesn't hurt. Well and maybe the strings need to be replaced. I, I imagine it's low budget strings or thoughtfully priced. And get this action somehow I know you take the resonator off and there's a control rod inside and there's videos on YouTube to do that. Yes, we have covered that. Adjust the coordinator rod and get new strings. And get a strap. You got to get a strap because you want to be able to do this. In case you're ever on a roller coaster, no. You want to be able to 
You want to play comfortably and not have the weight of the banjo on you. So why should I choose this banjo? Well, clearly the price is really good. And this is an introduc introductory banjo. If you've never played and you're just thinking about it, or say that you've played a long time and you have a $500 or a $1,000 banjo and you want to bring it camping. I mean, this is a great backup. Another thing I like about Harley Benton, uh, you cannot buy it on Amazon. Oh no, let's, t let's compare. Here's a brand, ADM, similar price, ADM, Kostin, Kost Kotzen, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Here's uh, Kamais, Kamais, similar price. These are all made in Asia, and I'm sure Harley Benton is too. That's okay. And the fact that these are sponsored, by the way, sponsored product just means that the seller has purchased ad space to display their listings. It doesn't mean that, that there's any, the, the, the reviews are probably not even legit. And Toman has an actual customer service department. You will be contacted by an actual human being. Those other places, good luck. So uh, I actually had a question and they contacted me within the next day. I'm very happy I bought the Harley Benton Pro 55 from Toman. It's a pretty banjo, it does sound good. I don't know how to play. If you're not ready to spend thousands of dollars or you're not sure you want to play or you're just buying it for fun, Tweak it, fix those things I mentioned, and you got yourself a pretty good banjo. Thanks for watching. I'm Ann Lippert. That's the end of my review. I'm...